Hey there. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Very Good Yoga with Billy. My name is Billy, and for today's practice, all you're really going to need is two blocks. Uh, as always, if you do not have two blocks, a small stack of books, maybe a full water bottle, uh, would work out just fine. So today's practice is essentially going to be one continuous flow, and we are going to start with a fairly simple idea and just continue to build and add on, um, eventually building up to Birds of Paradise, or a variation of Birds of Paradise, I should say. So let's get started. Uh, grab your two blocks or your stack of books and place them at the back of the mat. If you're using two blocks, they'll be at the lowest height, and if you're using a stack of books, just plan accordingly as we come into a supported malasana at the back of the mat. So you'll stay at the back of the mat. I'm actually going to turn around just so you can see what it is that I am doing. Your heels will be slightly turned in, your toes will be slightly turned out. And for malasana, whether it is a supported expression or an unsupported expression, all I really care about is that your heels are down on the floor and your knees are over the toes. Snuggle your elbows to your inner thighs. Press your palms together, sit up tall, and begin to find the breath. Lifting the heart up into the ceiling. So your back might be doing the work of a cow pose. Press the palms together, press your elbows into the inner thighs. And together, let's start by taking a full breath in through the nose. Open up the mouth, exhale to release. Do that again, inhale through the nose. Open up the mouth, exhale, let it go. One more, inhale. This time your mouth is sealed, exhale through the nose. Take a few more rounds of breath just like that, in and out of the nose. So unless specifically cued, try to keep your mouth sealed during practice. And one of the reasons that we breathe in and out of the nose is just because it is simply a slower breath. Once in a while, once you start to get tired, if you need to let out a big ol' like, go for it. As you quietly begin to flutter your eyes open, place your hands on the floor at the back of your mat. Fix your feet, bring them either together or hips with distance apart, and then take your props, whether it's blocks, books, or whatever, place them at the top of the mat and come into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up high. See the palms touch. Bring your hands to prayer at your heart. Tadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up. Forward fold is the out breath. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, plank pose, walk your hands forward to the top of the mat, and just take one gym push-up. So lower down, chest to deck, elbows out wide, and then come back up into plank. Downward facing dog, stand the hips up high. Spread well through all ten of your fingers, and press down into the inner line of your hands. Bring your feet a little closer together, and please lift the right leg up into a three-legged dog. Flex the right foot, turn out your toes on an inhale, bend the right knee to open up the hips. Pull the belly in, press down into your palms, stay level across your upper back. Straighten out the right leg, square off your hips, inhale. Exhale, knee in between the elbows, heel, toe, step your right foot forward, and come into a low lunge. Lower the back left knee down, and as you inhale, reach the arms up high. Press your feet down into the floor. Don't move your right foot, but try and drag your right heel towards the back left knee, shifting your hips down and a little bit forward. Lift out of the belly, 
reach the arms up into the ceiling. Inhale. Forward fold if the exhale. Hands on the floor. Step your back foot up to meet your front foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up high. See the palms touch, hands to prayer at your heart. Tadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Forward fold is your out breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot long and back and come into an active runner's lunge. So stay up on tented fingertips, so it's like you have a Spider-Man hand. Your left hand will stay down. Your right arm will reach out to the side. Use your chest, simple twist. Turn your left rib cage towards the inner right thigh. Straighten out the back left leg more. Pick up your left hip. Inhale, swim the top right arm forward. Exhale, skandasana to the left. Bend into the left knee, flip up the right heel. And essentially, you're in a half velocity with this shape. Your left heel is down, the left knee is over the toes. And if you're having a hard time keeping the left heel down, just go a little bit higher so your hip might be above the top of your knee. Like a ninja, skandasana to the right, hands of prayer or hands on the floor. Look to the left, runner's lunge to plank pose at the back of your mat. Press down into your palms, take a full breath in. Shut around with the out breath, lower halfway. Inhale, find your back bend, upward facing dog. Toenails press down, thighs are lifting up. Downward facing dog. Use your belly and send the hips up high. Bring your feet a little closer together. Lift the left leg up into a three-legged dog. Flex through the left foot, turn out your toes, and on an inhale, bend the left knee to Open up your hips. Palms pressing down. Your arms are straight. Belly is pulling in. Outer right hip is wrapping back. Straighten out the left leg. Square up your hips. Full inhale. Exhale. Knee between the elbows. Heel, toe. Step your left foot forward like you were walking. Anjane Asana. Low lunge. Lower the right knee down. Inhale. Reach the arms up high. Press your feet into the floor. Try and pull the left heel towards the right knee. So we're trying to create a strong foundation in our lunge. Lifting out of the belly. Reach the arms into the ceiling. Inhale. Forward fold is the exhale. Hands find the floor. Step your back foot up to meet your front foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press your feet down to come up to stand. See the palms touch. Tadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, bow forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot long and back after runner's lunge. So stay up on tented fingertips. Right hand stays down, left arm reaches out to the side. Simple twist, turn the right rib cage towards the inner left thigh. So when you twist, twist with your ribs and your chest instead of just like fling the left arm around here. Pick up your right hip, straighten out the back right leg, inhale the top left arm forward. Exhale, skandasana to the right. Keep your right heel down, like you then just stay low. Right knee is over the toe. Look to your left, skandasana, bend into the left knee, straighten out through the right. Look forwards, runner's lunge, to plank pose at the top of the mat. Inhale, shoulder run with the exhale, lower halfway. Inhale is your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Your knees are pointing straight down to the floor. 
And especially if you know you have tighter hips, keep a bend in the knee. Inhale. Come on. Empty. Look forward. Bend the knees and make your way to a forward fold. Surya A. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Come all the way up to stand. Reach up. Rise. See the palms touch. Hands to prayer. Eye over heart. Tadasana. Arms or body or sides. Inhale. Reach the arms up high. Forward fold is your exhale. Keep your hands on the floor. Inhale, flat back. Prepare you for chaturanga. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale to your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Three to five breaths here. Folks, if you're jumping back, Make sure when you land and shut around up that you land and shut around with bent elbows instead of straight arms. Landing with bent elbows, um, it's actually better for the elbows themselves and the lower back. Inhale. On empty, look forward, bend the knees, make your way to a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend to the knees and lift the heart and the chest up high. Keep the weight in the heel, press the shins and the knees back. Lift the belly up at the thigh. Reach the fingertips up into the ceiling. Look forward, hands to prayer at your heart. Come all the way up to stand, to dasana, arms are by your side. Here we go, Surya B, inhale, chair pose. Forward fold is the out breath. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, find your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Ground your left heel down with a warrior one, and then just step your right foot as far forward as you can, warrior one. Inhale, come up to stand. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Right heel grounds down. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, inhale, come up. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Breathing here for three. For two, inhale. On an empty, look forward, bend the knees, and make your way to a forward fold. So as soon as you get there, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend into the knees, lift the heart and the chest up. Look forward, hands to prayer at your heart. Come all the way up to stand, tadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, chair pose. Forward fold is the out breath. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, shoulder run the lower halfway. Inhale is your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Adding on left heel down, right foot steps forward. Warrior one, inhale, come up to stand. Exhale, cactus your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and find an interlace of the lower back. Folks, if you're having a hard time with this interlace, grab a towel, a shirt, or a strap if you have it. Bend the front right knee. Inhale, make sure your knuckles low, but lift your heart and chest up. Exhale, humble your warrior. Torso is to the inside of the front right leg. Warrior one, inhale, come up to stand. Open to warrior two, and right away, straighten out the right leg. If you're going to show your stance, it's one or two heel toes with the back left foot. Shift your hips back. Tree Konasana Triangle Pose. Place your hand on your shin. 
your foot or prop outside of the front right leg. Option to stay here, or if you want a little bit more, bring the right eyeball up to your left thumb. Press the feet into the floor and grab the outer right hip back. Two more breaths. Inhale. Warrior two is the exhale. Come up to stand. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, plank to chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale is your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Second side, right heel is down. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one, inhale, come up. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And as you find an interlace at the lower back, bring the opposite thumb on top so the grip should feel a little weird. As you bend into the front left knee, inhale, reach the knuckles low, lift the heart and the chest up. Exhale, humbles your warrior torso. It's in the inside of the front left leg. Warrior one, inhale, come up to stand. Open to warrior two. Straighten out the front left leg. If you're short in your stance, it's one or two heel toes of the back right foot. Triangle triangle pose. Shift your hips back. And place your hand on your shin, your foot, or prop outside of the front left leg. If you did this on the first side, bring the left eyeball up to the right thumb. So wherever the gaze goes, the body will go as well. So one of the reasons um, that I'm encouraging you folks to look up in your triangle pose is so that we can bring the chest sideways with the floor and keep the shoulders in a better position. Full breath in. Warrior two is the out breath. Come up to stand. Inhale, reverse, lift out of the left waist. Exhale, plank, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, find your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Three to five rounds of breath. Reach the crown of the head to the floor. Hug the feet towards one another. So it's almost like you're trying to scrunch the yoga mat in between the feet. And with that cue, your feet don't move, but hopefully we're starting to feel the outer hips engage. Inhale. On empty, look forward, bend the knees, and make your way to a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend to the knees, lift the heart and chest up. Look forward, hands to prayer at your heart. Come all the way up to stand, to dasana, arms are by your side. So you guys will stay at the top of the mat. I'm gonna back up a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Keep the right foot on the floor, but bring the left knee into the belly, into the chest, Utita A. Grab on for your left shin or toe lock the left big toe. As you reach the right arm straight up into the ceiling. The right foot presses down and the front of the right thigh presses back into the hamstring. Uti to B. Reach the right arm out to the side to what would be your three o'clock. Keep your two hip bones squared with the front of the room so we're not opening up the left leg all the way. Your left leg will be at a slight angle. Option to stay here, but if you'd like to play with the drishti once more, bring the left eyeball to the right thumb. Outer right hip lengthens down towards the inner right heel. And then the outer left glute swoops underneath you. That's kind of a little bit more of a subtle cue, and it might or may not make sense. Come back through center. 
Uti to C. Right hand to left shin or toe lock the left big toe. Reach the left arm back. Turn the right rib cage towards the left side of your room. Keep straightening out the standing leg and stretch the left palm back. Two more breaths. On an inhale, reach your left arm down, left arm forward, both arms up. Keep the left leg lifted, but straighten it out in front of you. Flexing through the left foot like you could leave a footprint on the front wall. For five, four, three, for two. Tadasana on one. Left foot is down, meet your right. Second side, bring your right leg into the belly, into your chest. Right hand to right shin or toe lock the right big toe. Utita A. Reach the left arm up into the ceiling. Press your left foot down into the floor and think about standing up, not back. Utita B. Open up the angle of the right leg and reach the left arm to what would be your nine o'clock. Emphasize your two hip bones pointing straight ahead. And if you did this before, bring the right eyeball to your left thumb. Outer left hip lengthens down towards the inner left heel. And the outer right hip is moving forwards underneath. Come back to your center. Bring the left hand to your right shin or toe lock the right big toe. Uti to C. Stretch the right palm back. Turn the left rib cage towards the right side of your room and continue to straighten out the standing left leg. So if you think about it with these one legged standing poses, your standing leg is essentially in Tadasana, even here. On an inhale, reach your right arm down, right arm forward, both arms up. Stand up tall as you straighten the right leg out in front of you. Flex to the right foot like you could leave a footprint on the front wall. Breathe in for five, four, three, two. Tadasana on one, right foot is down, and the arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Forward fold is the out breath. Option to take a Bakasana crow pose. If you're going for crow, plant your palm and come up high onto the balls of your feet. Place the knees on the backs of the triceps and begin to create this sensation of chaturanga of the arms. So your elbows and forearms are hugging in. Your gaze is forward, you are leaning forward. And maybe you can get your feet off the floor. Press into the floor like you can move it underneath you. Maybe begin to straighten out through the arm. Eventually, maybe you could shoot back and land in Chaturanga. Either way, it doesn't matter. Move through Vinyasa and meet me back in downward facing dog. You know, at the end of the day, just because you can do the arm balance doesn't make your practice any better or worse. Like, it just is. Okay, continuing to move, ground your left heel down. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, come up to stand. On the go, catch your interlace and humble your warrior. Bow your torso to the inside of the front right leg. Warrior one, inhale, come up to stand. Open to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Right hand outside of the right foot. Extended side angle, swim and reach the top left arm forward. So the bicep is by your ear. You're trying to reach the left arm as far away from the back left foot as possible. Lean the left shoulder back. Press down to the outer edge of the left foot and press your thigh bones back. Reach the left arm straight up into the ceiling. 
Look down at the floor. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Walk your right hand forward to either the floor or maybe a block. Now, option to stay here. But if you would like to play with the drishti, bring your right eyeball up to your left thumb. Flag through the left foot. Roll the inner left thigh back and the outer right hip towards the back left here. Reach the crown of the head forward. Inhale. Warrior two is the exhale. Come up to stand. Inhale, warrior two. Runners lunge. Two or three legged dog. Lift the right leg up and down. Flex with the right foot. Turn out your toes. Bend the knee and open up your hip. An option to stay here, but if you would like to flip the dog, roll forward. Bring the left shoulder over the left wrist first before the right foot touches the floor. So it's more of a flip side plank than a flip dog. Press your right foot down to lift the hips up higher. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Step your right foot outside of your right pinky. Lizard runners lunge. Inhale, dip your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, Molasana Yogi squat. Step the left foot outside of the left pinky. And you stay where you are, but I'm going to turn to face you folks. Just so again, you can see what it is that I'm doing. Option to stay here. But if you want a little bit more, snuggle the right tricep and the right shoulder inside of the right leg. Place the right hand on the floor. Reach the left arm up into the ceiling and open across your chest. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe you go for a half or potentially a full bind. If you're going for the full bind, the right arm is in front of the right shin and you're holding hands with yourself, your clothing, at the outer right hip. Gaze it slightly up and left. Inhale. Forward fold into the exhale. Straighten out your legs and then heel toe your feet either together or hips with distance apart at the very top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhales your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Keeping it moving, right heel down. Left foot forward, warrior one, inhale, come up. In one swoop, humble your warrior, catch the opposite inner legs as you bow to the inside of the front left leg. Warrior one, inhale, come up to stand. Open to warrior two, facing the right side of your room. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Left hand outside of the left foot, and the top right arm is reaching forward. Press the left leg into the left arm. Put more weight in the back right foot, and continue to lean the right shoulder back. Folks, keep in mind, this is a twist, and we're turning our chest up into the ceiling. Reach the right arm up into the air. Look down at the floor. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Walk your left hand forward, less than a foot away from your standing leg, and reach the right arm up into the ceiling. If you did this before, bring the left eyeball up to your right thumb. Lean the right shoulder back. Flex the right foot like you could leave a footprint on the back wall and roll the inner right thigh back. So with that cue, your right toes will begin to turn down. And you're not turning your right toes down for the sake of turning your right toes down. You're just moving through your thigh and hip. Inhale. Warrior two is the exhale. Step your right foot long and back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, runner's lunge. 
The three-legged dog, lift the left light up and back. Flex through the left foot, turn out your toes on an inhale, bend the left knee to open up your hip. Option to stay here, but if you want to flip your dog, roll forward first. Get the right shoulder over the right wrist, and then step the left foot onto the hardwood floor, or your carpet, or whatever your floor is made out of. Press the left foot down to lift the hips up high. Inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Step your left foot outside of the left pinky. Lizard runners, lunge. Inhale, dip your hips, lift your shafts. Exhale, Malasana Yogi Squat. Step the right foot outside of the right pinky. So this time I'm not going to move just because I want, you to, I want you to see what I'm doing on my outer left hip. Option to stay here. But if you'd like to explore the bind, left shoulder inside of the left leg, left hand finds the hardwood floor. Reach the right arm up into the ceiling, get broad across your chest. And then maybe go for a half or a full line at the outer left hip. Again, if you cannot make this hand in hand connection happen, just hold on to your clothing. Lean the right shoulder back, your gaze is up and right into the ceiling, but we're not looking back, it's upper right. Inhale. Forward fold is the exhale. Straighten out your legs and fix your feet either together or hips lifted apart. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, shut around the lower half leg. Inhales your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhales your downward facing dog. Child's pose. Drop your knees either together or hips with distance apart. Take rest. If you don't need rest, you can stay seated on your shins with the eyes closed. You could stand something more active like a plank or maybe a dolphin. But if you're looking for something a little bit more dynamic, do another sunbeam. Wherever you go, whatever you're doing, be mindful of the breath. Slowing it down here. Allowing yourself to drop back. In the breath, try and find exhales just as soft, smooth, and sweet as our inhale. And every inhale fills up to the back body. Imagine that you can create space in between each and every individual rib. And with every exhale, imagine that your tailbone could become heavier and heavier as it sinks down and towards your heels. about three to five more rounds of breath here. And then on your third or fifth exhale, plant your palms, tuck your toes, and lift your hips back into downward facing dog. So we're going to do one more piece of standing low, and there shouldn't be too many of these things. It should essentially kind of um, tie everything together. So let's do this. Ground your left heel down. Step your right foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale, come up to stand. On the go, humble your warrior. Catch your interlace and bow the torso inside of the front right leg. We're going to hold this one, folks. Wrap the outer right hip back and the outer left hip forward. So we're not trying to square off the hips, but we're trying to find a more squared position and keep the outer right hip in. Keep equal weight in your two feet on the floor, so most likely press more to the back left foot. Warrior one, inhale, come up to stand. And open to warrior two, facing the left side of your room. Inhale, reverse. Right forearm to thigh. Let's find a half 
bound extended side angle here. So your left hand should be on top of the right leg and a little bit to the inside of the right thigh. And what I want you to do is use that hand to pull the chest open. Maybe this is where you stay, but if you'd like a little bit more, reach the right arm forward with the palm facing up into the ceiling. Press your feet down. Lift out of the belly. Breathing here for five, four, for three, two. Straighten out the right leg on one. Come up to stand. Inhale the arms up high. Skandasana at the back of the mat. Keep the left heel down. Flip up the right heel, but keep a soft bend in the straight right leg. Look forwards. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Like a ninja, plant your right foot at the top of the mat and reach the left arm up into the ceiling. Option to stay here, but if you'd like to take the quad stretch, reach the left arm back. Use the left hamstring to bend into the left knee. And if it's accessible to you, grab a hold of the outside of the left foot left shin. If you have the foot, kick into your hand. So you're trying to create some space between the left heel and your left foot. And it's almost like you're in a half bow pose and on the left side. Two more breaths. If you have the foot, Without slingshotting it, let it go. Warrior two, step the left foot long and back. Inhale, warrior two. Runner's lunge to three-legged dog. Lift the right leg up and back. Flex the foot, turn out the toes on an inhale. Bend the knee to open up your hip. And maybe this is where you stay if you would like to flip your dog. Roll forward, bring the left shoulder over the left wrist first. Inhale here. Listen carefully, exhale, right hand down. Right knee, taps the left elbow, twist into a fallen triangle pose. Reach the left arm up into the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Step the right foot outside of your right pinky. Lizard runners lunge, inhale, dip your hip, flip your chest. Exhale, malasana, yogi squat, step the left foot outside of the left pinky. So again, you stay at the top of the mat, but I'm going to turn and face you folks so you can see what it is I'm doing. So all sorts of options here. Uh, option one, you could stay with that supported Malasana we did at the very beginning of class. Option two, you could stay right here. Option three, go over the bind, snuggle the right arm inside of the right leg, open the left arm into the ceiling. Left arm over the lower back, right arm in front of the right leg. And then your final option would be to go for this variation of Birds of Paradise. So for today, this variation, the right arm is in front of the right shin. And you will heel toe your left foot towards the middle of your mat. Come up onto the ball of the right foot, press your left foot into the floor. Straighten out your left leg. Use your hips, your belly, and your upper back to stand up tall. Maybe try this, of course, if you want to stay with whatever variation of Malasana serves you today, go over that. You could even do an Uti to B while you're here. Straighten out the left leg more. Tips of the ears are reaching up into the ceiling. up whatever it is you're working on. Meet me in a forward fold at the very top of your mat. So feet will be added together or hips width distance apart. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, shutter around the lower half way. Inhale, your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Last side, right heels down. Left foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale, come up to stand. On the go. Catch your interlace on the fly and humble your warrior with the opposite thumb on top. Holding down here. Wrap the outer left hip back and the outer right hip forward. Try to keep equal weight distribution near your feet. 
So most likely press down more than the back right foot. Warrior one, inhale, come up to stand. Open warrior two, facing the right side of your mat. Inhale, reverse. Side angle with a half bind. Left forearm on your side. Right hand physically grabs the left thigh and a little part of the inner left. With your right hand physically lean, pull the right shoulder back. And if you found this to be a good time on the first set, reach the left arm forward with the palm facing up. Lift out of the belly. Press your feet into the floor. Breathe for five, four, three, for two, straighten out the left leg, upright your torso, reach both arms up, inhale, bend into the right knee, skandasana in the back of the mat is your exhale. So hands are at prayer at the heart or hands are on the floor. Look to your left and like a ninja, spring up and come into your half moon pose. So the left foot plants at the top of the mat, keep your left hand on the floor or a block. And if you took the quad stretch on the first side, reach the right arm back. Bend into the right knee, and if it's available to you, grab the outer edge, the right foot, and the right shin. Kick the foot into the hand, so you're creating space between your right heel and your right toe. Find the breath. Again, essentially creating this half bow shape through the right side. Have the foot without slingshotting it, let it go. Warrior two, step the right foot long and back. Take a full breath in. Runner's lunge to three legged dog is the out breath. Lift the left leg up and back. Flag to the left foot, turn on your toes, bend the left knee to open up your hip. And if you flip the four, roll forward. Bring the right shoulder over the right wrist. Left foot steps down onto the floor. Take one inhale here. Exhale, left hand down. Left knee tap the right elbow, fall in triangle pose. Left foot to the right on the hardwood floor. Right arm is up into the ceiling. Take an inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Step your left foot outside of your left thumb. Lizard runners one, both hands inside of the left foot. Inhale, dip your hips, lift your chest, look forward. Exhale, Malasana, Yogi squat. Right foot steps outside of the right hand. Option one, think of supported expression. Option two, stay right here. Option three, go for the bind. Left shoulder, snows inside of the left leg. Right arm peels up into the ceiling. Holding hands at your outer left hip, or maybe just holding onto your clothing. Final option. Heel toe your right foot towards the middle of your mat. Come up onto the ball of your left foot. Press your right foot down. Come up all the way up to stand. I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but this will be a little bit more challenging than the traditional variation of Birds of Paradise. Usually the arm leaves underneath the front left leg. So with this variation, there's a little bit more to find. And I think it requires a little bit more mobility and flexibility. Take a few more breaths, press your right foot down, straight on the right leg more. One and out breath. We'll meet in the forward fold with control. So feet are at it together or hips with distance apart. Inhale, flat back. Rinse it up. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale to your back, bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Drop your knees and stand up on your shins. So for our back bend today, we'll set up for a camel pose. And what I would like you to do here is place your hands on your lower back 
and begin to squeeze the elbows together. Press your feet and your shins into the floor to begin to lift out of the belly. Imagine that there's a string attached to your heart, pulling you up to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. And then maybe this is where you step. If you want more, bring your hands to your butt. Maybe walk your hands down your hamstring. And if it's appropriate, if it's available to you, grab on through the heels with your hands. Keep your neck neutral and continue to lift out the belly. Imagine that you could chest bump the ceiling above you. On an inhale, stand back up on your shins. On an exhale, sit down on your heels. Close your eyes and allow your chin to lower down towards your collarbone. So with the eyes closed, notice how the body responded to that. You can see the heart is racing. Maybe the breath is choppy. Or maybe you just feel for this buzz. You know, that buzz that happens whenever we practice yoga. Let's do that one more time. Stand up on your shin. And press the feet into the floor. So just like those low lunges we did at the beginning of class, it provides and it gives us a really strong base and foundation. Place the hands on the lower back and squeeze the elbows together. Lift out of the waist. Imagine that it's almost like you have gears in your ribs, turning the chest and the ribs back. Maybe walk your hands on your butt, your hamstrings, and if it's available to you, grab on for the heels with your hands. Find the breath, the neck is neutral. And again, if you feel any pain with this, if you feel a pinch, if you feel a crunch, it means you gotta do less. Pain is not something we should accept in our yoga practice. Inhale, stand back up on your shin. Exhale, sit down on your heels. Close your eyes and lower your chin to your chest. Come back into the breath, smooth and steady. Using this breath to see if you can slow down the heart. Hands. 
Sit down on your right hip. Swing the back left leg around and forward. And the right leg behind you. So coming into your pigeon with the second side that way. And most likely you'll need to adjust here a little bit. Bring the left knee outside of the left wrist. Tuck your back right toes. And scoop your right leg further back to get your hips closer down into the floor. And then walk your hands forward fold. In just a minute here, guys. If you modify the first side, modify again on the second. back into your breath. And every inhale brings a new space, a new life. And every exhale, what can you let go? Last few rounds of breath here. Try to resist the urge to fidget, whether that's a physical fidget or maybe a mental one. Maybe it's a thought. Maybe it's something you just can't get out of your head. Full breath in. And on the out breath, come up onto your hand. Sit down on your left hip. Swing both of your legs around and forward. And then if you have a blanket at home, maybe sit up on a blanket. Otherwise, just grab the fleshy parts of the butt so you can better root the sits bones into the floor. Flex through your feet and walk your hands forward to fold. And find your favorite expression of this fold. Whether your hands are outside the ankles or maybe you're grabbing a hold of the toes, the heels, or the outside. Your head and neck is heavy. And I want you to stay in a fold, but feel for the work of an up dog and cobra in your chest. So it's like the bottoms of your shoulder blades are pressing forwards into your chest, into your heart. Trying to find a more stable forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, come up into your seat. And lie down on the floor. So we'll do um, a twist each side. Hug your knees into the belly and into your chest. Scoot your hips an inch or two over to the left. And drop your knees into the right for a very simple twist. I feel like that cue can be confusing sometimes. But what you want to do when you twist is set up the lower back in a more neutral position. So if you just drop the knees on one side, it's going to put the lower back at sort of weird angle. Come back into your breath. Breathing across the chest, and the shoulders, and the ribs. And with every exhale, imagine the left rib cage could actually melt down into the floor. Make your way back through center. Second side, scoot your hips an inch or two over to the right, and then drop your knees over to the left. Again, if you ever feel this in your lower back when you're twisting on the floor, just scoot your hips in the opposite direction that you're twisting. If it doesn't bother the neck, the gaze over the right hand. Every inhale fills up the right shoulder, fills up across your collarbone. And with every exhale, imagine that the right rib cage can melt down closer and closer into the floor. Take a few more rounds of breath here. Make your way back through center. And make your way down into your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Of course, if there's anything 
grief that I'm going to offer you here today, that your practice is not complete without. Take these last few moments of class for yourself. And if you do have the time to stay in Shavasana, close the eyes and begin to settle down into your center. Inhale, fills up the belly, the ribs, the shoulders, the crown of the head. Hold and pause at the top. Open up the mouth. Audible exhale is released. And good work. No more effort. Shabbat.
into your belly and into your chest. Keeping the eyes closed and using as little effort as possible, please make your way up into a comfortable seat facing the front of the room, really wherever you're watching class from here today. Rooting down through the sits bones, lifting the heart into the roof of your mouth. To seal in our practice, please bring your hands to a prayer position at your heart. Guiding the thumb knuckles up and into your sternum. Invite a full breath in. Open up the mouth. Exhale to release. Please join me for one sound of OM. Inhale. feedback, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe if you had a good time. Um, and that's it for today, folks. Uh, I hope to see you soon and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.